Welcome back, Tyrants and Newcomers alike, to another episode of Apollo Justice Hates Attorney. Last episode, we found out, one, that Guy Eldoon was a doctor, uh, and has a rivalry with a victim, and two, that Clavier Gavin actually cost Phoenix Wright his attorney's badge. Somehow. We don't know how yet. But now we're gonna take some footprints. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. Right. Allow me to explain. <clears throat> One moment. She is reading the instructions for her kits. What a noob. Why does this not fill me with confidence? First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print we want to analyze. I've taken the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. Well, which shoe print should we start with? If we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Shoe prints, prepare to be examined. Ooh! This is so exciting! Man, Teresa gets excited about Great. a lot of stuff. Here goes. First, pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do that? Just touch a screen where you want to pour the plaster. Like this. Ew. <laughs> that doesn't look too hard. Looks like something else. If you run all the plaster in your beaker before you're done, you have to start over. Okay, step one. Apply cow semen to the footprint. There we go. All right. Wow, I was really blunt with that joke. Not All right. bad. You're handy with that than you look. Even though I just made a freaking mess with part of it. What's that supposed to mean? On to the next step. Um... Dry the plaster until it turns white. Right! Just touch to direct the dryer. There, give it a shot. Alright, step two. Solidify the cow semen. Solidifying cow semen. Looks like it's hardened nicely. Let's take a look. That's what she said. Hmm. Yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. Ready for the next step? Use a roller to ink just the shoe print part. Hold on to that roller tight now and roll it up and down. Keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. So we shall. Da -da 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 that was easy right. enough. Right. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here it goes. Splat. Let's see if we get a match. All right. Now, it's probably Mr. Stick. Whoa, it's not Mr. Stickler. Okay. It's not Mr. Stickler. It's not Mr. Gavin. It's not Guy Eldoon. Not Pal. Wait, Palmaractus? Nope. Not. Well, it may be Palmaractus. Not Big Wins. Oh, it's Walkies. Yep. It be walkies. Jesus. All right. He had something on the bottom of his shoe, apparently. So the shoe prints belong to Walkie Kitaki after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow! I can almost see the signs at work. Don't you love it? Ah, uh, nothing feels better. He's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here solving the case with science. Science? Well, that certainly brightened her mood. Sure did, didn't it? All right. Now. Uh, yes, we have something here for footprint analysis. So let's see. Detective Sky, mind if we give it another go? Right on. Leave no print unanalyzed, I say. Now to pick up which print you want to analyze. Let's do this one. 
All right. Put the cow. Step one. Put the cow semen all over the ground. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Next, to dry the plaster. Step two. Dry the cow semen. Okay, seriously, how much drying do I have to okay, do? Okay, let's there take out the mold. Hmm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. All right. Da -da -da -da. That was cool. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. All right, whose print would this be? Let us see. Ah, it's got a leaf on the bottom of it. Huh? That's a funny shoe print. Is that even a shoe? It is strange. So smooth. Except for we'll part with a leaf. I can say without even looking that this print doesn't match any print on our list. Hmm, a mystery print. I think I know what that print could be. Da -da -da, slippers! Let's just check these real quick. Get to make sure that we get everything the game's trying to tell us to get here. Ta-da! The bottom is covered with paint! Huh? What's this weird shape here? It looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom when the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left when the leaf was removed. Ah! I got paint on my hand! Apollo! I saw you try to wipe your hand on my cape! Stop that! <laughs> All right, so there's paint on the bottom. Let's present to Emma. They say the Maractus Clinic. Hey! What? This slipper. Look right here. I think it's the a toe mark. A toe mark? You think we can get a print off that? Sure. Toes have prints just like fingers do, you know? This little clue might be a gold mine. Oh, there's one problem. The police station doesn't keep a record of toe prints. Don police station! So we won't know whose it is. I guess that would be too much to hope for. Still, it might be useful somehow. Let's analyze it. Alright, so we shall. Time to analyze El Slipper. This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind, though, that's certain. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Aldoon's noodle stand. It does make one wonder. Hey, you! Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Because I have that shoe! You wouldn't happen to have something in mind? Something that might have left as mystery shoe prints? The mystery shoe print does remind me of something. Show evidence! I'm pretty sure I've seen something that would leave a print like that. You know, I think I have our culprit right here. The cell phone! Trucy's panties! This car window! Okay, come on. We know it's the slippers. Miss Kataki's bloomers! Just kidding. Alright. Uh... Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? But look at the bottom. See? It's covered with paint, except for... See? Right here. Hey, that's my shape like a leaf. What if that leaf was stuck on the bottom and came off when the slipper stepped in paint? Makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic. Exactly. The victim's clinic. Wait, that means... Someone involved from the clinic was involved. Maybe someone who was at the clinic. Why is she just standing there eating? Um, Detective Sky, I have a favor to ask. What? what? Can you get us access into the Maractus Clinic? The police won't let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. And it's off limits until we prove they are. I should be able to do something for you, yes. Finally, we're gonna get you to get in there. God dang. Eh? Really? 
Well, you did do something for me here with the shoe prints. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Detective Sky's ordered added to the court record. Right, Maractus Clinic, here comes justice. All right, I don't think, well, you know what? Let's talk to her about another shoe print anyways, because maybe they won't let us advance if we don't. Detective Sky, mind if we give it another shot? I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. I guess so. Ah, this one, of course. Actually, we already did that. What about this? Come on. Do it. Huh? Giving up already? Suit yourself. If you want to take another swing at it, just let me know. Alright, uh, so we pressed that already. So, yeah, okay, so it doesn't matter now. Cool, let's freaking finally go to the Maractus Clinic. Good God. The screaming fangirls are gone from here. Alright, uh, Dune's house. Oh, June the 16th. Now Dune's house. Is he gone? Ah, oh, you two again. When, oh, when will you learn? Look at me however you want. You're not getting in today. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Look what we have. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. What's this? Detective Sky. Yesterday it was Prosecutor Gavin. Today it's Detective Sky. Who are you two? Really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. All right, finally, into the Maractus Clinic we go. Ta-da! Let's see what's in here. June the 16th, Maractus Clinic, reception. Huh, kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? This place has a connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it. The police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived. Looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Cracking indeed. Let's do this crap. Look at all them bowls. Look at all these bowls. That's them bowls to you, Trucy. They're from the Eldoon's noodles. They're Mr. Salty. Then I think we figured something out. I think we have. Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. <sighs> Not exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls have been washed clean. Oh, Trucy, you have so much Maya in you. I think we found our first clue, Trucy. There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that's come to see Dr. Maractus. You'd think they'd use his house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case. And if a patient or visitor isn't still here... Why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these, just in case. Sandals added to the court record. Ah, they look like women's sandals, okay. These must be the slippers for patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. Gee, I wonder what pair that would be. And ours have paint on the bottom. Which means they were taken out of here at the night of the murder. Right. The paint's from the hit and run, after all. But what were a pair of clinic slippers doing in the trash can? And what were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? Anything else up here? I don't think from my memory that there's anything else in this area. area. So let's go back and move into the back office. Well, we can't? Okay, we must have to examine examine the door, I suppose. Look! This door says doctor's office. Think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Trucy's a lockpick? That's awesome. Like those little bike locks? Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. Wow. 
Trucy stole my bike, my bike. That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Whoa. Huh? Uh, Apollo! That sound! It came from behind this door! Someone's in there! Let's check it out, Trucy. A break in! They left through that window! Wait, Apollo! You're too late to catch him now! That must be her experience as a panty snatcher chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. She has a point. You're right. She's better at this than I am. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. Ah, dang right. Okay, let's see what's on the floor here. We have a lamp. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey! The bulb's broken! Broken? Don't you mean burned out? No. Our cat burglar must have dropped it. But why is it standing up on the floor like that, then? Hey, look at the cord! Huh? There's a red splotch on part of the cord. You think that's... blood? It's a little bright for blood. Almost pinkish. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for sure. Lamp out of the court record. Okay, I'm gonna go real quick back to the, um court record here and examine the lamp, see if we can't get any more information off it. All right. Let's see here. Red splotch, huh? This cord runs to the lamp. It has a red stain on it. Huh. Gotta wonder what's left of this stain. Wait! I know! Maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like, they were trying to write their name and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic ropes. All right, uh, anything else interesting about this lamp, perchance? Let's see here. The bulb is broken. It won't turn on. Oh! How is it broken? Don't touch that. You'll cut yourself. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. My, my finger! Ah, you're bleeding! Let me see that. Wait. Magic blood! <laughs> Please don't do that again. I have enough to worry about without my co-workers injuring themselves on the evidence. Indeed. Okay, so there's nothing else to left to look for on the lamp. So, um, I know we're probably going to have to take the sandals back for toe prints. Toe print samples. But first, books and papers are scattered around the room. Wow, what a mess. This is worse than Daddy's room. Burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is lying on its side. Huh? The juice that spilled out of that cup. It's dry. So the messy one wasn't our burglar just now. Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it. Okay, um... Here's a safe. What a cute little safe. Hmm, looks like a four-digit lock. I know how to get this one. Apollo? Seven? Nine. Wait, do you think... That burglar just now was trying to open it? I wonder what's inside the safe. Hmm. Is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, we know the first two, seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record. Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. This is actually Shades of Phoenix Wright 1, I believe, here. Huh, I wonder. I've got just the thing. Well, I have an idea. I knew it, Apollo! What is it? Because if you remember Phoenix Wright's one, we did the exact same thing on Damon Gant's safe. Well, all we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. We can use this to find out what the next two numbers are. do 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 Fingerprint powder! When you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? No, with your toe. It would leave a print. When you open a safe, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, right? Unless you're an idiot. So, if we can find the buttons with the fingerprints... We'll have the safe code! Well, what if the burglar tried to press all the buttons? <laughs> then you'd be screwed, but okay. Not bad, Apollo. Alright, let's see here. 
There we go. Look, you can see the oily finger residues clearly. Look at seven and nine. These are glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can't open the safe. Let's give it a shot. All right. Da -da 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 Dang it. Whoops. Whoops, no, seven nine five two. Freak. Dang, how many times did they let you guess the code, I wonder? There we go. Weird stuff in there. It opened. Let's see. This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with it. An x-ray? Huh. Can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either. It's all in medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient it says walkie-talkie. What? So this is walkie, our client's chart, huh? I thought we already had his chart. Maybe we just had his records. Why would this one chart be here in the safe? Let's see. The physician's signature says Palmaractus. Eh? What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filled the chart. Let's see. Nurse Alita Tiala? Nurse? Alita Tiala? Alita Tialita? Okay. Another typo. Anyways, Alita Tiala is Waki's fiance? That's one Ida too many, Apollo, though. <laughs> That's one in a too many Apollo. La, 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 la. <laughs> Never mind that. What's your name doing here? How should I know? Though, I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic. Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So, Alita Tiolo worked at the Maractus Clinic. And she had access to Waki Kataki's medical chart. Why do they keep spelling it wrong? It's kind of pissing me off. Anyhow. Got the I and Y wrong, Apollo. And yes, I'm a mind reader. Ooh. Stop. For the God's sake, you're killing my brain. I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher this? Walkie's chart added to the court record. All right, what else is in here? We got a stone cat here, or a weird golden cat here. And there's a bullet hole. This looks like a bullet hole. Still see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of a safe? Hey, the bullet came out. Tip is all squished. Not surprising, given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Bullet added to the court record. All right, anything else in here? Don't look like it. Which means, let's go back and examine El Toe Print on the sandal. So here we go. Back to Eldoon's house, first of all, and then we make our way back to the People Park. From the Kataki Mansion, of course. Alrighty, then. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Dang right we did. Hey, how did you know? You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. Next, she'll have us analyzing face prints. <laughs> Face prints. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. All right, present. Time to figure out whose sandals these are, but by now it should be kind of obvious. They're Dr. Hickfield's. Just kidding. Did you find something? Wow, she's having a forensic gasm. Well, scientifically speaking, these are a pair of women's sandals. Pretty cute, too. Duh. We found them in the lobby at the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, say, this sandal has a toe mark. A toe mark? You mean a toe print? That I do. You can analyze it just like a fingerprint. This little clue might be a real windfall. Oh, there's one problem. The police station doesn't keep a record of toe prints. So we won't know whose it is. I guess that would be too much to hope for, naturally. Still, it might be useful somehow. Let's analyze it. 
All right. Time to analyze the mystery toe print. All right. So how do what do we do to analyze it? Just oh, probably have to go to check and then zoom in on the toe print, right? Merp. Merp. Hey Apollo, you think this is? Huh? This could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print out of this. Let's check it out. Yay! There we go. Thus for Prince. La 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 cocaine party, cocaine party, cocaine party. Merp. Unbelievable. There we go. Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe, maybe. But wait. I mean, it's great that we got the toe print. But is there such thing as a list of toe prints? Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means we can't match this print. This seems like a good time to ask a detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. Alright, Miss Emma, what have you got to say about this discovery? Um, guess we have to present the sandals? The sandals? That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is a sample of the same toe print off another shoe, for instance. Oh, right. So if the prints match, you know the same person wore both. Huh. Do I have another shoe worn by the same person? Yes, I do. I think I just might, actually. Really? I'm beginning to suspect something here. Detective Sky, can you compare this sample with the other print? Da 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 da! Sandals! Slippers, whatever. I did say toe print sample, didn't I? What? Where exactly is a toe print on this evidence? Oops, Stormy Sky's ahead. Wait, what? Try again, scientifically this time, if you would. Huh, a toe print, right. Um, okay. Maybe we just haven't confirmed those are Alitas yet, perhaps? Uh, okay, so I'm not ready to end this episode yet because we just screwed up there somehow. So let's go back to somewhere and see if we can find Alita. Because I'm pretty sure that's who it is. Oh, Hickfield Clinic. June 16th, Hickfield Clinic. Okay, now I feel comfortable in the episode. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, and see you guys next time.